Hi and welcome to the video on Leaving Cert Higher Level Maths Tips for Paper 2. In this video I'm going to give you five tips uh, to help you along in Paper 2 um, and a bonus tip at the end. Some of these uh, might be very similar to uh, tips from Paper 1 but there are some specific ones for Paper 2 as well. So tip number five which is similar to, to uh, or the same rather as Paper 1, try your favourite question first. If you really like trigonometry, go straight to a trigonometry question, build up your confidence and get some marks in the bank. Tip number four, stick to your timing and move on if you need to. So like I said in the video for paper one, if you're doing 13 minutes for each question for section A and 23 minutes for each question in section B, stick to it. If you get towards the end of a question, move on and come back to it at the end. Tip three, be an expert with your log tables and your calculator, especially so in paper two for your log tables, all your trigonometry and your coordinate geometry. You need to know where those formulas are and be able to get them quick, quickly. And for your calculator, make sure you know how to change it from radians to degrees and degrees to radians and use it in the correct context each time. Tip number two, expect a lot of trigonometry and, ge and geometry. That's going to be the bulk of paper two. And if you're in a, doing a question you don't know what to do, solve for an unknown side or solve for an unknown angle and that might just give you the start that you need to move on through the question. Tip number one, for coordinate geometry, there's some big formulas that you need to know. The perpendicular distance from a point to a line and the angle between two lines, those formulas could be part of big questions that would be worth a lot of marks. So know how to use them and be confident with them. And in any coordinate geometry question, make any positive step. For example, finding a slope or finding an axis intercept. If you don't know what to do, do something and then it might lead you on to the next step. Bonus tip for paper two, expect an unexpected topic. So don't rely on only your traditional paper two topics. They might put something in that would traditionally be on paper one. They have done that a couple of times recently. So expect an unexpected topic for paper two. If you have any questions, put them into the comments below. I'll get back to you if I can, or you can get back to each other and help each other out. And you can check out my other two videos if you haven't seen them. So I have a video on tips for paper one, and I have a video on structure and timing for the exam paper. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.